Hello friends, my name is Zach, and I'm making a game where you play as a duck with a gun. So, now that my AI isn't totally stupid, the game is finally starting to be sort of playable. And with that, I've been thinking a lot about the original vision I had for the game compared to what it feels like now. And somehow it's pretty close to what I was expecting. It's super punishing since you only have 3 health, but the game loop of running around and playing cat and mouse is really satisfying. But while it's pretty good, I feel like it's still missing a little something, you know? Like it just needs a little bit of zest to tie the whole thing together, you know? So this month, I wanted to explore some new mechanics and polish things up for a solid prototype. So first off, I added a little hop to the ducko just because I couldn't resist. I've been tossing up scrapping the jump button for ages since you don't really need it, but on the other hand, I don't want someone pressing the spacebar, expecting to do a little hop and nothing happening, and then being sad, because it would make me sad. Everyone would be sad, and it'd be all my fault. So I added it, just so he could be doing a little hop. But then I found out it's actually pretty fun to climb stuff. So hopefully I can work it into the level design to give players more options for sick combos. There's this one really great talk by Jan Wilhelm from Vlambia on how to make action games really juicy. And one of these ways is just to basically fuck shit up in the level. I'm talking corpses, blood, broken glass, all that good stuff that makes you go, wow, I really fucked this place up. Lol. So at the moment, when you or the enemies get shot, there's some blood particles, but they just fall through the floor. And if you're a pro gamer like me, you might go, That doesn't happen in real life. 0 out of 10. Unplayable. So I thought it'd be cool to add in some blood splats to spice things up a bit. So I chucked in this decal system from a Unity tutorial for like a paintball game or something, but I adapted it for blood. Because screw you Unity, you can't tell me what to do. I also added some new UI this month, since I figured it'd be kinda handy to know how many bullets you have. I think I've seen a few indie games that have that. I was thinking of just slapping on some regular UI in the corner, like literally every other game does, but then my brain was like, Bruh, how about you don't do that? And I was like, bruh. So I thought back to when I first saw the sick UI from The Division, and was like, hey, how about I steal something like that? Like, you know, I've already ripped off the Breath of the Wild stamina UI, and I'm pretty sure you can't get double suit, so I was like, hell yeah, let's just go for it. So here's what I came up with. Most of the time it just chills next to the gun, but it'll switch sides depending on where you are in cover. I'm really happy with how it turned out. There's just something about the way it jumps at you when you shoot that makes me go, yes. Speaking of UI, I also thought it'd be pretty handy to know how much health you have before you eat shit. But instead of adding more UI for it, I thought it might be more interesting to show how much health you have with a post-processing effect. That's this shit on the screen. On the side of the screen, you see it. So if you're at full health, it's all good, but as you get hit, more and more, your vision gets more distorted. Since I feel like if you're on the edge of death, you should kind of really feel it in game, and feels like it makes any actions kind of more epic. It's a bit weird, and I kind of like it, but if you reckon this would be super annoying, definitely let me know what you think in a comment below. A few weeks ago, I had a few friends over to play this broken mess that I call a game, and they were like, game okay, but peaking bad lol. And I was like, <laughs> okay. They also realized instead of peaking, you could just do this, which is uh, a little bit broken, so gotta fix that. But the main complaint was that the peaking was too slow and exposed way too much of your little duck butt. So whenever you peeked out from cover, you just ate shit immediately. So I fiddled with the numbers to make peeking more tight and added a new feature where you'll move more or less out of cover depending on where you're looking. I also decided to finally get started on adding some sound effects since I was kind of tired of every gif I make being like a really chitty silent movie. So I whipped open my big sound effects folder and got to work. Thankfully, explosions and gunshots are really not the hardest things to find, so chucked them in. I also added a fat bass boost to the pistol sound effect since it makes shooting feel cool somehow. In the talk I mentioned before, Jan Willem tells his story of this developer bringing a build of their game to this like corporate dude, and he goes, yeah nah, yeah nah, the game's pretty cool or whatever, but the shooting doesn't feel very good, you know? And this dev guy's like, yeah whatever, so he goes back to his desk, adds some thick bass to the shooting sound effect, brings it back and the corporate guy's like, yeah this is way better, you dumb idiot. So, moral of the story is, uh, uh, don't be a stupid corporate guy, I don't know. But you know what sound effect was super hard to find? Duck footsteps. 
Plenty of human footsteps out there, but when it comes to ducks, there's nothing. Pretty racist if you ask me, TBH, shaking my head my head. Usually I just record my own footsteps, but unfortunately I don't own a duck. But while doing some intense research for this effect, I came across this Reddit comment about how duck footsteps kinda sound like when you drop cheese or salami on the floor. And I was like, holy shit, it really do be like that. And I own cheese. So I went and recorded some cheese slaps on different surfaces, chucked it in the game, and somehow it sounds pretty good. Being able to peck the dicks of your enemies is, you know, great and all, but sometimes you just don't have enough time to stand still before eating a bullet. So I added this new mechanic where you can just bolt into the shins of enemies and knock them over. Knocking them over won't kill them, but stuns them for enough time to take down someone else or plan your next move. I also wanted to give the player a little bonus slow-mo, since getting this close to an enemy is kind of risky. And you know, because slow-mo is cool as fuck. This was kind of inspired by John Wick, since he's always doing that crazy shit where he's stunned a dude with a glass bottle, and then he uses that dude's mouth to reload his gun while shooting five other guys. And I thought it'd be pretty cool to do something like that. Unfortunately, Ducko doesn't have any, like, uh, arms, so probably couldn't do that. But I figured this would be a good compromise. In future, I want to add a few more ways to stun enemies since I think it could lead to some really sick combos. And of course, I added in exploding barrels since I'm pretty sure it's illegal if you make a game without them. Pretty standard stuff really, Unity even has a button for it. So just click that, make sure to add in some safety warnings, safety's no joke, and all good. But something that's always pissed me off about Blidio Blames isn't that bad guys tend to leave lots of easily exploding barrels of gas around. That's just reasonable. But it's when you shoot these barrels, the actual barrel seems to just like evaporate. Um, so I don't know what's up with that. Um, like that's just not how I see it working in my head. So instead Zack Barrels, TM, actually break up into pieces you can see. This is very important because, uh, uh... Some of the quick things I did were add auto object pulling to make the game go zoom. I finally added in some health drops that I made forever ago. Basically they have a small chance of spawning when you murder an enemy and hopefully they'll encourage more risky plays, since you don't really have much help. Also messed around with some shader craziness, so you can still see things when the camera yeets itself into a wall, but I spent a heap of time on it, and it's still fucked, so guess I'll die. And that's it for today. Did you like the video? Do you want to go throw up in a trash can? Leave a comment below. Next video, I'll be doing some mocap stuff, so definitely subscribe if you'd like to see that. See you later.